Once upon a time, during the second age of Earth, an elf was wandering through the woods. And he came upon a dwarf. Hello, friend elf. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You're awful tall for a dwarf, aren't you? I get eight. Is that better? Much. How fair thee, Sir Dwarf? I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? I am doing well also. Say, I could not help but notice that sword you had on you. That's very nice. Um, what sword? That one right there. This one? Yeah, that's the one right there. Oh, yes. I made it myself. So, would you be willing to sell it? Perhaps. What do you have that you could give me for it? Um, well, you know, as dwarves, we, uh, we grow a lot of apples. Dwarves live in mines under the ground. Yes, we do, laddie. What about it? How do you grow apples? Don't overthink it. We do. Well, I couldn't let it go for just... One apple. How many you need? Name your price. Whatever you want, they'll do it. Five. Five sounds great. Hundred? Five hundred! Oh, it is a very nice sword. All right, sounds good. Here is your sword. I'll get it later. And here is your apples. I will pick those up later. And so a fair trade was made, and the dwarf and the elf went on their way. Time passed, and the dwarf was at home talking to his wife one day. Hello, dear. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. Why are you standing over there in that room? Uh, I don't know. It's almost like we didn't have the budget or the socks to make another of it. Hmm, yes, quite. So, the king came up with a great idea today. And what was it there? Well, he decided instead of all of us bringing things around and trading them with each other, we should just decide on something that we could substitute for all the things, like a piece of paper that had value. He called it currency. Currency, dear? Absolutely. And so he made the dwarven dollar today, and we all started using it. I went out, and I bought an apple for a dwarven dollar, instead of having to carry something else around to trade. It was excellent. Yes, dear, it does sound excellent. And I think perhaps I'm going to see if the elf would be interested in trading with dwarven dollars, instead of me bringing a bunch of apples out there. I'll just give him a dwarven dollar. But dear, didn't you just say that one dwarven dollar bought one apple? Eh? And doesn't he normally charge you 500 apples for a sword? Eh? But one dwarven dollar is not going to be worth 500 apples. But he won't know that, the dwarf said with an evil smile. With a smile... With us, I'm smiling. Okay, okay. And the dwarf went on his way and found the elf walking in the woods. Hello, Mr. Elf. Hello, Mr. Dwarf. I'm wondering, have you heard of currency? Why, yes, I have. We have developed the Elven Illoon in my kingdom, and we trade it instead of having to trade goods with each other and barter. Excellent. Well, I happen to have a bunch of dwarven dollars, and I was wondering if you would be interested in trading a sword for a dwarven dollar so you don't have to bring around all those apples all the time. While I agree with the idea of trading for currency, I happen to know that one dwarven dollar 
only buys one apple in your kingdom and one elven alone buys 500 apples in my kingdom. You are trying to treat me, cheat me, sir dwarf. No, I'm not, I don't know. Perhaps I can be in of assistance. Where did you come from? Don't worry about it, don't overthink it. I have a plan for you. So here's the deal. Since your currency buys one apple, the dwarven dollar buys one apple, and since your currency, the elven Elune, can buy 500 apples, what if you just exchange your currencies at that rate? So you'll agree that 500 dwarven dollars will equal one elven Elune, since that's their relative buying power. And then you can trade currencies, and then you can go buy as many apples as you want. You don't have to buy 500 at a time. You can take 200 dwarven dollars and buy 200 apples. Does that sound good? Excellent. Uh, I'll let you continue. That was very weird. Yes, yes it was, I agree, totally. But the idea was good. How about if we do that? That sounds like a great idea. So I will sell you one sword for 500 dwarven dollars. Um, yeah, excellent, sounds like a great idea. And then I can take it to a neutral bank and trade the 500 dwarven dollars for what? Wait a minute. Why don't you trade the currency before I take it? Now that would seem like it's more fair. All right then, we'll find a neutral banking house, maybe in Gondor, and we'll bring them 500 dwarven dollars, and they'll give me one elven alone, and I can give you one elven alone for your sword. Does that seem fair? Yes, it does. And then if I ever want to buy apples, I'll go to the bank and trade my one elven alone for 500 dwarven dollars and bring those to your kingdom, sir dwarf. Seem fair? Excellent! And the trade agreement that they made that day carried on for years and years into the third age of Earth. And they lived happily ever after trading with their exchange rate. The end.